I'm just gonna hold up a strike and swing, bada! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to run up these stairs out of the prologue area and show you one or two more aspects of this game that I love. Exactly on 300 kills, guys, because this is Sparta! Or some reference humor like that. Warning. This episode was intended for a mature audience. It may contain a cursing Irishman, irritable bowel syndrome, rude awakenings, arrested development, and many other horribly disturbing things. Enjoy! And hello there YouTube, hashtag CJ McKay here, playing some Dead Rising! I'm playing this because I made a top 5 favourite zombie video games, um, and I really wanted to show everyone all 5 of those. So this is the first one I'm going to be showing you. Um, I'm showing you Dead Rising, I'm just doing the prologue a little here. So, um, down below, um, I'm in a helicopter as you might be able to tell from the silhouette in the sky. But down below you can see a survivor screaming for his life and hitting zombies with a baseball bat and oh no, now he's screaming, he's screaming up to me for help and I'm just up here taking pictures. Um, that's kind of cruel. Um, if anything this prologue teaches us that this is a dark world and that uh, the character you play as is a dick. <laughs> just taking pictures as he gets dragged off a car. That is gruesome like. Just kind of horrible. Um, I'm going to show you one or two pieces of this prologue, like for example, how there's a school bus full of children getting attacked up here. This prologue really sets up some dark bits, and I really want to show everyone that. Because um, I thought the prologue would be the best part to start this video at, so um, if you want to skip past the prologue, feel free to. But I'm going to show you one or two little aspects of it now, and I'm going to clip to the next part I love the most. So, I'll see you all in two seconds now. Just use a Masonic screwdriver to... Fix my webcam up to get all this working. Oh, look at that. Big ol' explosion. Oh, just beautiful. Gonna do a slow-mo recap on that. Just look at the glory of that explosion. I love any prologue that includes a giant explosion that kills a load of zombies and leaves a smoldering crater afterwards. Just absolutely love this game. Like I said, I'm going to show you one or two aspects of this prologue and this game that I love before getting out of the zombie carnage, but if you do want to skip ahead, feel free. Annotations on screen and I'm going to show you one more aspect before I get into the real carnage. Sonic Screwdriver, I love you my old pal, keep you behind my ear. Um, here you can see a woman on a roof. Um, she hasn't got a lot of options, she's kind of surrounded by zombies, ugh, probably gonna run out of bullets, I mean bullets, you know, they're a finite thing, eventually they run out, Oh, she's just throwing her gun in desperation, Oh, and now she's waving up to me for help, and all I'm doing is taking pictures, how terrible is that, just, just horrible, she's gonna fall to her, look at her, falling to her death, and I'm taking pictures, that's just terrible, what a horrible human being this character is. Just taking pictures of her splattered corpse. And apparently that's a perfect score to get me lots of experience. <laughs> this feels so bad. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do you, show you all one more aspect of this game I love. And then I'll be back in everyone. Um, one other aspect I really, really love about this game is the experience th uh, ba uh, um, system in it. Um, you'll probably all notice now in a second that I'm about to start the prologue and get to the carnage, but I start at level 50. The thing is, I start at level 50 because um, your experience carries over after you finish the game. So if you die halfway through a playthrough, or if you just finish the game, all the experience and levels you get carry on through, which is a game not even a thing not even a lot of new games do. And for a game so old. Old, I really love that they included something like that in it. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you as well as that is a ways you can earn experience. Because I'm a photographer, if I capture really exciting things or get really good kills or capture someone, one of my survivors getting really good kills, I get experience for that. And here I'm about to unite a really not, an old married couple. Look how touching this is. They're going to meet and they've been lost on this same roof around the corner from each other for ages. Did you ever know that you're my hero? Boom, ba -doom, boom, boom. Please don't sue me for singing this song. Let's get to the carnage, everybody. Naughty Tribble, don't you be sitting on top of my webcam and distracting people with the fluff in the way. <clears throat> Turn off this webcam now. 
And hello there YouTube, hashtag CJ McKay here and I'm playing Dead Rising. I've explained that already but a lot of you might have skipped the prologue to here and if you have I'm about to get to the action. Here you can see some panicking survivors with weapons and two people here looking after each other. I've been instructed to go get some items to barricade but I'm going to skip this little cutscene. Um, sh long story short, the zombies broke through the barricade. Oh, there's everybody getting killed. <laughs> now I just have to equip myself with some weaponry, getting baseball bats and 2x4s, yeah. Um, see, the main focus of this um, video for me is to try and explain what my favourite parts about one of my favourite video games of all time is. And one of those things is being able to pick up absolutely anything as a weapon and throw it at people. And like this. Oh, fast moving zombie. I just throw a trash can through them all. Um, big horde of zombies. Oh no. Looks like I'll pick up a bench and go bowling for zombies. Oh, look at that. Just that was almost a strike. Now I see, I'm going to see if I can get the rest of them to pick up a spare. Oh yeah, bowling for zombies with benches. I love this game. Shiv shiv, knifeity knife. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, now I'm getting attacked. Which will happen, but I just love this game for so many reasons. And I'd like to go over a few of them in this video. Um, if you haven't checked why I love the prologue, um, if you've skipped past it, um, you know, feel free to check that out. But this is the real action-y stuff I love. Like I said, being able to pick up just anything with a weapon is a big part of that for me. Here I am, smacking some people with 2x4s, looting dead, co uh, dead people for their 2x4s. All that jazz. But as well as that, I'd like to show you one of the two things you get if you complete the game and do some of the achievements. I think I got this one for completing um, one of the alternate endings. And this is a big laser gun. Pew, 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 pew. I love it. It's good. Um, I'm also wearing a convict's jacket, which is pretty nice. And I've got some, um, you can't really see them too well, but they're uh, luchador shoes on. Uh, they make me super speedy and my kick's really, really strong. Um, speaking of kicks, time to drop all my weapons and... Do some hand-to-hand -hand combat, because that's also one of my favourite parts of this game. You can do air kicks, roundhouse kicks, you can give a classic one-two. Oh, you can like literally punch people's heads and arms right off their body. Oh, it's just beautiful. Now, obviously, I'm on level 50 here. See, so I just like romper stomped someone into the ground. And um, as I said, I'm on level 50 here. And now, that gives me lots of extra strength, extra speed, more attacks. Um, the ability to walk over zombies' heads when there's a big enough crowd of them. Um, it gives me the ability to carry more weapons and do stuff like roundhouse kicks like I just did there. Um, all round makes me a better, stronger, faster guy. Like the Bionic Man, in a way. Um, aside from just the general killing in this game, there are some really good comedy aspects of it I love that I'd like to get into. And I will be a little later in the video. Um, this is really the heavy carnage side of things, because just... I am blowing heads off. And now that's a really big group of zombies. I wonder how a normal person would handle that. Probably a knife or a gun or, you know, something good. I would like to handle it with a flat screen TV. <laughs> Just, oh, die with the power of high definition. And by the way, speaking of high definition, I'm sorry this is only in 780p, guys. I don't really consider that um, high def. I consider 1080i and above high def. Um, this uh, video might suffer from one or two degradation problems at one or two points, as well as that, I've had to do about ten takes on this video, because I'm having so much problems, um, like getting screen capping working, it's just been a nightmare, but I really want to get this video out there, so I'm really sorry about that, and as I said, it took me a few takes, so um, here's a fun game for my audience. Try count how many times that little Tribble jumps around in this video, because I believe me, it is so, so many. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. Um, so I'm going to throw a bench through a big group of zombies, and I'm going to work my way into them and grab a shoddy. Oh, big shotgun, going to buckshot some zombies. Now look at that, their heads are just exploding, firing into a group. It just, it takes out so many of them. The guns in this game, aside from the melee weapons, are fantastic. As well as just, you know, firing off the hip like that. I can also aim down the sights if I want to be a bit more accurate. And um, some zombies have hard hats on, which makes them really hard to headshot. You have to face shot as opposed to headshot, really. Um, oh, I've got, an oh no, 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 you get off me, asshole. Uh, um, I've got a lead pipe here. Oh yeah, look at that, just, oh, cracking skulls like there's no tomorrow. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> I love this game. One big thing I love about this game, aside from killing, is its story modes. Like I said, I got that big laser gun for doing one of the story modes. There's about seven alternate endings to this game, guys. Like, legitimately. Then, how you want to play it, really, that's what the, will alter the game endings. If you just want to go around and kill zombies like I'm doing right now, just going through entire groups with baseball bats like it's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. Stop singing now because I don't have copyright laws. Um, so yeah, just killing some zombies with baseball bats. There's also the option of going around and saving tons of survivors. Like if I want to be like a hero and go around and save like 80 people and bring them in the helicopter uh, out of here that I arrived in, I can do that. But, you know, what if I don't protect the helicopter driver and he gets killed or something like that? That might lead to an alternate ending. There's the story mode I could do, because this game isn't just like free roam and, or linear and go around and do random crap. There's an actual story mode, which is really nice. This is a really old school game, guys. Like I said, this is one of the first Xbox games I played. And people I've spoken to, it's one of the first games they ever played, too. I don't know if many of you remember Platinum games, but that's an old school system they used to use with the uh, PlayStation and the Xbox. Well, very early in Xbox 360 days to cheapen games when enough copies had sold, basically. Um, and this game was, you know, platinum at one stage. So that, it's really old. And for a game so old, it's got so much detail. So many alternate endings, and it really caters to how different people want to experience the post-apocalyptic world. I love this game for so, so many reasons. I I just had to re-buy this game because I couldn't find my original Platinum version anywhere. I played this originally uh, before I actually owned an Xbox and maxed it out playing my friend's one and got all the achievements on his Xbox. But, um... Yeah, aside from that, like, I had to re-buy it, and I'd recommend to anyone out there to buy a copy of this game. It's it's really worth it. I just, I truly love Dead Rising and everything about it. Um, I'm gonna leave, this is just the prologue area where you can go around and pretty much do random crap to your heart's content and kill zombies till they kill you, and if they kill you, you just pass out. So, um, I'm just gonna hold up a strike and swing, bada! <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to run up these stairs out of the prologue area and show you one or two more aspects of this game that I love. Exactly on 300 kills, guys, because this is Sparta! Or some reference humor like that. And we're back in YouTube. Um, I'm just here with that elderly couple I saved earlier. Um, I'm in my Capcom underoos. Like I said, this game has a lot of comedy in it. Sh that guy just shot the propane tank in my hand. That was incredible and weird all at the same time. And um, like you would think, uh, this golf club here, you think I'm swinging it up to smack a zombie in the face? Nope. I'm putting golf clubs at them, or golf balls, because that's far more useful. <laughs> I love this game, it's got so many fun little comedy aspects, like shooting a soccer ball at zombies and it pinballing around them and hitting like five of them all at once. Just utterly beautiful. Wanna do that one more time. Kick! Oh. Other beautiful aspects like throwing saw blades like frisbees and decapitating zombies because of it. Dressing up as toddlers. Also fun and disturbing. Both at the same time. Gotta love it. And I can do fun things like pop a barrel on top of a zombie's head and then hit him with a stun gun so electricity courses through his entire body and shocks him to death. Gotta love that. I love this game for so many reasons, and above all else, it's its variety. It's got so much in it. What I love about Dead Rising is everything. This game video started to stretch on a little bit because I love it so much. Um, just threw some cyan paint all over a zombie there. Gotta love that too. Uh, you can do just utterly crazy things with this game, and it's why I love it. It's got so much going on for it, like hopping on skateboards and driving around and hitting into things because I'm an idiot, picking up bowling balls and going bowling. I'll show you that now, I'll clip right to it. And we're back in now, YouTube. Um, unfortunately, I was about to show you me go, uh, me get bowling, but um, both those people who are with got killed. Oh, I'll show you clips of that right now. So, as you can see here, I was um, about to throw a saw blade and kill some zombies when it clipped out and showed me the old guy getting 69 to death. 
Seriously. I have no words. Just... And now I'm gonna just show you quickly one or two of my final favorite aspects, like bowling for zombies, skateboarding in a lake through zombies. Gotta love that. Yeah, it's like Back to the Future, except without the hoverboard. Picking up live fish is always a really fun experience too. Gotta pick up a live fish here if I can catch one, and then... Oh, hit you with a live fish! Yeah! Yeah, die with the powers of live fish. So you can do backflip kicks, which is just plain awesome. Um, I can riddle them with an Uzi. Oh. Or I can smash them into the ground with a... Oh, sledgehammer. Just absolutely beautiful. I can slice them in, a ha in half with one of my favorite weapons of all time, a katana. Oh, look at that. Just incredible. If I really, really want, I can make it rain by putting a shower head in the zombie's uh, um, forehead. Yeah, causing precipitation. Oh, yeah. Firefly money and making it rain. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm getting killed. Oh. One thing I also love is somehow just how the zombies kill you, like this little clip here. As you can see here, I'm just shooting away at some zombies, and then... BAM! Dick-eating zombie. What the absolute shit? I don't know, but I love this game. Dick-eating zombies. I'm just, just a quick outtake from the many, many scenes I've done so far trying to do this game. It's taken me so long to do this video because I've had to do so many takes through files corrupting and awful things like that. But um, thanks to you everyone for watching this long. I really hope you've all enjoyed this video. I'm just going to put this helmet on a zombie and take a picture of him to be really demeaning to that hu former human being, quite frankly. Um, then I'm going to head over here shoot some hit people with a soccer ball but mainly I'm gonna thank you guys I mean I really appreciate you guys all watching this video I've just died here finally I'm gonna make a second part of this video too guys so look out for that that'll be on my top 10 favorite weapons from this game I might do my top 10 favorite um you know comedy items from this game favorite bosses who knows what I'll do it depends on the reception of this and from my like you know just great subscribers who comment on my videos thank you thank you for watching this far everyone have a great zombie month have a great year of the undead have a great day everyone so long